Welcome everyone. Welcome to QA Automation in Job News. Today we are going to learn on unit testing, how we can test a feature or functionality of a web application using JUnit. Okay, JUnit um, test automation framework is used by mostly developers, but in QA automation interviews, always you have to face a lot of questions on JUnit as it is uh, a base uh, test automation framework. All right. Without further ado, let's start JUnit test framework. Okay. Uh, let me go to my um, computer screen and click on Eclipse uh, IDE, double click. Once you click double, it will open within a couple of seconds. It might take 10 to 15 seconds, depending on the speed of your computer. All right. Uh, testing framework is very, very important. And every tester should know how to work on it. Not only testers, even the developers, they must know how to work on JUnit test framework. Okay, let's create a new project. I will click on project and then type just Maven and Maven project is here. Just click on it and then click on next. And then check in create a simple project click on next i'll uh, provide group id group id is com dot u test okay then artifact id is the project name project name is you need J unit test framework. Okay, then just click on finish. Our project has been created. Inside the project, we have src main slash java src main slash resources src slash test slash java and we have also some other folders in java runtime environment system library and we have also pom.xml inside the pom.xml file it is now empty we create uh, dependencies dependencies tags okay dependencies opening tag and dependencies closing tag okay and inside this dependencies we are going to keep all the dependencies individual dependency there might be couple of dependency inside dependencies okay what we need uh, to run this project we need uh, we need actually um, we need We need uh, C 
selenium and we need web driver manager and we need test ng sorry not test ng j unit uh, j unit by default comes with java so we don't need j unit dependencies but we need this too okay let's go to maven repository when i type mvn i find maven repository okay maven repository where is mvn this one and type here selenium okay selenium java this one click on it and you can choose any one of these versions 4 and 4R. I'll choose the latest one. Okay, just click here, right button click, copy, and go back to the project. And I just paste the dependency selenium java 4.4.0 version. Okay, and then I need also Web Driver Manager. So I'll go back and type here um, web driver manager press enter and web driver manager is here i'll choose the latest one okay right button click and copy and i just paste it here i have two dependencies and i just highlight it then press um, on tab button and it has been indented now this note is for you just to show you and if you want to use test ng you can bring test ng um, dependency also whatever you want to use you can just go to uh, mvn repository okay and then just copy and paste here now when i will save it you will see uh, this dependencies are software actually it will be instantly downloaded and installed look here okay uh, a green signal can be seen here when i press ctrl s you see you see so downloaded and installed very quickly okay now we are ready to start writing our code where we will write our code src slash test slash java right button click and i want to create a package name of the package is j unit j unit testing and inside the j unit testing i want to create a class and name of the class is login functionality tests and click on finish login functionality tests class and inside the class let me uh, leave some notes j unit is unit test framework mostly used by the developers but test automation engineers must know it before you work in an interview you have to face a lot of questions on jv so in 
this is a very powerful framework you definitely less than test ng test ng is upgraded framework and it has more features and functions more powerful than JUnit tests okay JUnit is our unit test framework and it has uh, some very limited uh, annotations these are uh, before at the rate before and then at the rate after and then at the rate test annotation and at the rate ignore just you have to remember this uh, four annotations in JUnit but in testNG you have to uh, deal with more than 30 or 50 annotations so more annotations in testNG testNG meaning um, test next generation framework okay now let me create a uh, method set up setup method and inside the setup method we uh, opens browser okay then just paste it and we tear down here tear down is closing method tear down okay and we close this project here all right now uh, we will have also another test method and that is public void uh, test login okay and this is login test okay now if you right button click and go to run you can see run configuration there is no there is nothing to execute this test method now since in JUnit and testNG framework we don't use um, we don't use um, main method in Java we know we need main method to execute uh, any Java program since we are not using main method we will be using here test annotation method instead of uh, main method and to do it we have to add JUnit 4 library to the build path and now uh, this annotation is working JUnit tests uh, has been imported if you now right button click now you can find JUnit test here and you can execute it if you execute it you see this test showing past one test case mm, it's passed and if you have more than one test case test method uh, you can test title of the application say for example and this is title test okay and 
this also passed now we have two test cases and two are passed okay now uh, we can use test annotation here uh, before meaning uh, I can import it in J units okay before I run this test method or test case this browser will open and after running this test case this browser will close same thing will happen for this test annotation so we have test two test cases or test methods for every test method browser will open then browser will close again browser will open and browser will close okay now uh, let me use after annotation and import it and now if you execute it now you can find you see opens browser then login tests then closes browser again opens browser and then title test and closes browser if you have one more tests method or test case say for test current url current you are real test okay now you will see three test method okay opens browser current URL test is coming first and then closes browser opens browser login test closes test opens browser title test and close tests okay now um it's really important mm, to understand how it is working say for example i don't want to run this test then i can use ignore test annotation okay and i don't want to run this test too I can just use ignore annotation okay now we have three test methods one two and three but two test cases are being ignored I'm telling J you need to ignore the test cases mm, we will see only one test case will be ignored oh, sorry yeah, executed you see three out of three two skipped meaning only login test is being executed okay well and good now uh, we are almost uh, prepared the skeleton of our test framework now what we can do we can write our selenium codes here with java i can say web driver okay driver equal to new chrome driver we are using chrome driver okay chrome driver and we can import chrome driver okay and we can import web driver now this web driver is super class and chrome driver is base class inside web driver we have uh, chrome driver class we have uh, firefox driver class and we have safari driver and some many driver also so instead of super class we can also use uh, chrome driver okay that will also working fine okay so it's invoke driver 
here I can say driver dot get and we can say https colon slash slash utest.com uh, it will invoke the driver but it will not navigate to utest.com yet because to do it we have to use um, web driver manager okay it's invoking the driver you see and fail to go to utest.com now uh, how we can do it we can say web driver okay manager dot chrome driver dot set up okay <coughs> in selenium 4 we are using web driver manager chrome driver dot setup if it is um, firefox you have to type here firefox driver okay um, and now if you execute it it will invoke the browser navigating to utas.com and we find this window open half because we didn't write code to expand it in full to do it we can write selenium command driver dot manage what it will manage it will manage window uh, and how it will manage it will manage maximizing the window okay now if you just execute it it will invoking browser navigating to utes.com and expanding the window in full now okay to uh, test login functionality first we have to click here right okay then we can uh, locate the elements of email address area then password area then we have to click on sign in okay uh, let's go back and let's uh, just right button click anywhere then click on inspect okay and then i just click on this little arrow uh, icon and it is called inspector okay and then click on login where we need to click okay and then we see here class is this okay uh, there are eight locators in selenium okay there are eight locators i hope you already know all these things they're basic uh, and one is id another one is we can locate the elements with id by id by class by um, css selector by expert okay by tag name by link text and partial link text okay we can take export right just clicking on right button then copy in export okay this way or we can also create our own export we can just uh, press on ctrl f then just type slash slash then star meaning all then square braces and inside the square braces at the rate then attributes whatever we have we have class and and uh, 
actually not this one I think let's click yes it's actually we have a tag okay tag name is a at the right a is tag name in uh, sorry tag name is here instead of tag name a i put uh, star and here is class and class equal to whatever i uh, copied i just paste here okay and i see actually long something that is unusual let me try again what i have i have this unauthenticated dash nap dash bar underscore ink class equal to this is the value so i'll take this value for class okay and just paste here and i see one of one meaning this export we created okay we call it customization of export is uh, unique one on one means unique we can also just right button click and copy from here sometimes uh, when we uh, choose export uh, copy export it may not work then we have to custom our export customize our own export create our own export and this is called customization of export and we always prefer this okay um, then i just go back and say driver don't you see now this driver is not working here because this driver is inside a setup method that should be uh, declare here uh, chrome driver driver when we declare here it becomes global driver and now it will work when we make it global just we need to delete the class uh, chrome driver now it's working fine and we can see this driver is working here now and we can say find element by expat okay and here is expat value of the expat we create it and we have to take action and it is click right all right so now if you right button click run as JUnit test okay it will invoke the browser navigate to the you just expand the window and click on login and here is login feature that we are going to test to test it we have to find elements to find element i just right button click and click on inspect and then click on this uh, inspector then click on email address area and we see there are class id and name we can choose anyone i choose id okay just take the um, value for this id and go back okay go back um, I'll say driver dot find the element by 
id and id value for the id is username and i have to send a key so i take send keys uh, method this is simple method uh, i hope you have uh, seen my java for q automation engineer uh, tutorial earlier i posted on my um, page okay and i just want to use um, abcd at the rate gmail.com incorrect gmail and i can just copy it okay and just paste here um, paste here to test um, the password field okay and let's go to password field okay click on inspector then this is password field and in password field we have also id and id is password uh, i can go back to my project okay and id value is password and we are also using uh, password incorrect one two three okay now if you right button click then click on jury test it's invoking the browser navigating to uses.com expanding the window and click on login then passing the parameter abcd at gmail.com and the password now we have to click on sign in button okay so we are writing code uh, in selenium with java programming to test this login functionality we are using incorrect gmail address as incorrect password we call it negative testing and when i click click here uh, actually it will not allow us to log in inside the users because we are using incorrect password and incorrect gmail address when we are using incorrect uh, credentials username and password expected result is the application will not allow me to log in an actual result is still we don't know when we will click here then we will know what it will happen we are taking id again but you can also choose name in class and also expert definitely okay then let's go here and driver dot find elements by id and id is kc dash login and action will be click okay and now let's right button click run on junit and it's working wonderful this is the beauty of test framework any test framework it is so powerful so beautiful once you write the code you can uh, execute it repeatedly okay and uh, no, no, not acceptable <laughs> okay uh, so actually this application is not allowing us to test this functionality again and again and 
that's why we should not uh, practice testing in real um, application rather we can use uh, there are some uh, application for testing we can use say for example open source demo which are in I think dot com no open source demo I think live HR in HR in Live.com. I'm not sure. It is not. Open source demo. I actually forgot. Let me see here. No. This one, I think, yes. Open source demo orange hrmlive.com. You can practice with this application, okay? Uh, rather than practicing here, okay? So now, if we run the tests. Invoking the browser, navigating to uses.com, expanding the window, and got click. It's not acceptable because you cannot um, test this login functionality again and again, not more than three times, I guess. Okay, now this is negative testing all right now i can also test this and i can say driver dot get title okay and i can store this inside a string and this is actual and I can just print the actual title okay and you just can say the actual title is plus actual title okay and to run this test we have to uh, take out at ignore okay and just run it okay 
invoking the browser navigating to utest.com mm -hmm. okay wonderful and we are working for second test method and if you go and check actual title is you test the professional network for testers then close the browser okay now we can see driver dot close in driver dot quit all right so our test framework is completed now right button click right button click and click on the test okay invoking the browser navigating to the url application then expand the window and click second test case testing the title of the application and finally one skipped because one is still ignored i can say driver dawn current get current url okay again we can store it inside a string and can say current url and just print current url of this application you can say the url is okay just current url and just take it out right button click run as the unit test invoking the browser navigating to the test.com okay second test case and the third one wonderful three run and three pass we can check here okay and now we can say the tests there are three test cases so tests successfully completed All right wonderful so under 15 minutes it's now 44 minutes running we completed our JUnit tests, complete JUnit test framework. Okay. So, if you just practice one or two hours, twice, thrice, definitely you will become comfortable in um, developing this test framework one is error i know why because after opening the browser the test login is not uh, uh, tested because uh, it's not allowing us to click on the button again and again every application has um, some conventions rules that we cannot uh, click on the incorrect uh, 
with incorrect passwords again and again more than three times I guess okay so if we ignore it what happens let's see ignore okay you can test you can practice uh, using your correct credentials okay second test case is running and you see one skit because one is ignored okay so thank you so much uh, i hope it will help you to understand um, geonit test framework okay how does it work it's a complete test framework okay um, and it will help you to crack the interview especially those who are working uh, on test automation okay so um, i will upload it into my youtube channel you can just go here okay um, there is also after every video you will find also um, job advertisement from different companies say for example if you click here okay Mm, let me check here job you see there is a job requirement you can apply here so after every uh, video Hello, I'm giving some job information you can read it and you can also apply for the job from here okay and if you need also training uh, we have also training information here okay you can click here and uh, find some courses if it is necessary if you think you need um, you need to learn a little more okay and uh, if you have any question feel free to ask any question um, you can ask questions uh, just in the comment section okay and if you want to contact by email if you have any question you can write to be a boss at the rate boss developers dot org okay you can ask any question all right so thank you so much and there is also mm, gmail address where you can ask questions okay so thank you see you in the next session tomorrow i will uh, create a video on one of the most popular and powerful test framework on test ng okay and in just under one hour i want to keep it below one hour you will be able to 
learn testing framework and after you understand JUnit and testing framework you are actually ready to apply for test automation job and test automation job is available you can go to indeed.com or linkedin okay and also career builder wherever you want to just click here as that or q automation say for you look job in california okay is that 55 to 60 dollar per hour okay and every job is now remotely you can work from anywhere in the world okay software development engineering test you see huge and if you want to apply for QA automation, this is also automation ST. QA engineer. QA engineer. Okay. Okay. It can be also Q tester. Right here. Okay. So that's all for today. Even Q engineers. Mm. This is minimum salary, okay. Usually automation engineers are making 100k, 110, 120, 125 and uh, much more according to their experiences, okay. So thank you so much. That's all for today. Mm. Practice makes a man perfect, okay. You can ask question here, no problem. Thank you so much.